two races remaining of the ADAC GT Masters season 2022. It is possible that we may see the new champion crowned today because Raffaele Marciello has extended that lead by another three points, courtesy of putting the yellow member on pole position. So it's for position? Yes, it's for position. Well done, well done. This is Hockenheim, round seven. And we are racing ADAC GT Masters. I had a good stint, I was uh, easy in front. Yeah, I had a bit of pressure throughout the middle of the stint with the BMW, but um, we managed to hold positions. That getting two wheels right out onto the gravel. Marciello, though, he just takes it all in his stride, doesn't he? And everyone running into the pits now because it's the last opportunity. And it's Daniel Junkadea who will be ready to jump into the seat. And uh, Gunon is going to put the pressure on Daniel Junkadea. It was difficult to keep him behind, so I made it for a couple of laps and then he took a risky move in a corner where it's, I think, a little bit too risky. He's trying it at turn 16 and he's done it, but there's contact! Oh! They're both off the circuit! And unfortunately, after that, my steering wheel was a bit bent and... Yeah, I just knew I had to bring the car home, you know, don't take too many risks. Raffaele Marciello's fate is in the hands of Daniel Junkadea, the yellow member in front of the number 14 Lamborghini. But is it going to be Marciello who takes the championship? It is! Raffaele Marciello is the 2022 champion of the ADAC GT Masters. Manfield to Team Landgraf celebrate. Marciello is champion. I'm really happy. I pushed a lot for it. Uh, so at the end, luckily, everything went, went well and uh, we are the champions. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. The international German GT champion of 2022, Raffaele Marciello on the crest of a wave for Manfilter Team Landgraf. We won it together. It's relatively uh, a young team. So it means it means a lot for sure, but already looking forward for next year. Good to be part of this success. Um, I hope I could bring my uh, experience uh, and help the team to, to, to bring this success. And I think this was fun. Um, looking forward to what the future brings. I'm super proud of our team. It was a crazy season with ups and downs, but more highs than lows. So yeah, we are finally there where we always fight it for. It was uh, first year in the GT3 cars, first year with the uh, with the team, and was was nice. I really enjoyed it. We definitely learned a lot, got some good experience, and then uh, yeah, it was great to be part of the Manfilter team and in uh, in the Mamba car. So um, yeah, we'll see what next year brings. I can't tell too much about the future, but I can tell that you will see a Mamba in 2023.